My father was a cellist. He came here as a Cuban refugee and somehow stumbled upon a cello when he was a teenager and then passed it on to me. So the day I came home from the hospital, he played the cello for me and apparently I fell in love. So I started at age two and then at age 10, my parents kind of tricked me into getting into Juilliard. When I was 16 and I moved to Paris, I remember in my first week of school, um, one of the lunch ladies in the cafeteria yelled at me to go back to China. It was incredibly hurtful and it was something that I think really, really scarred me because after that I developed a huge fear of speaking. And so I remember for the entire two years of my undergrad in France, um, most of the other students thought I didn't speak French because they never heard me open my mouth. In reality, I spoke fluent French. I was just terrified of revealing that I was a foreigner. I predominantly spoke Spanish as a kid, so it was very strange to me because people would throw Asian insults at me, but at the same time, I would sometimes hear the Latino community say things like that, and I felt very torn because I was sort of other but also part of all these different groups. So I, I internalized being Asian as being um, something negative when I was really young, and it was something I really tried to hide. And I remember throughout my teens begging my parents to let me get plastic surgery and dye my hair and wear colored contacts. And I now, as an adult, I'm so glad that they didn't let me do those things because um, now I really embrace that part of my heritage so much. I'm so proud to be Asian. Music to me is the most universal language because it's something that transcends all barriers of race, socioeconomic, backgrounds, culture, religion. Um, for me, it's such a powerful connector. I think it really truly brings people together and it is one of my favorite ways of just expressing myself because it's so direct and it can touch people in such a profound way.